Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I want to show you a car accessory called the Tailbrella. So this is pretty much what you think it is. Basically, it's a shade umbrella, a patio umbrella uh, that mounts onto your car. Um, I saw this at the big box store while I was there shopping for something else. I couldn't decide right away if it was kind of a gimmick or if it was kind of a cool thing, but I do a lot of outdoor work. Um, I do a lot of car shows, and I was thinking it'd actually be pretty cool to have a shade umbrella that would mount right on the back of my car. So let's open this up, take a look, and set it up. So to start with, it all comes in this nice big bag. It's got uh, some decent carrying handle straps on it, and on the end it has you know a drawstring so you can close it up. So here we have the main parts. The umbrella itself is uh, very typical of most uh, patio umbrellas. It is nice and large. Uh, next to that is the pole, and below that is kind of the, the magic sauce. It's the part that goes into the car. Um, on the end of it, it has pipe that the pole goes into, and we also have a pin for connecting it in the car, and that also has its own bag that goes inside the bigger red bag. So kind of the fancy main part here, this is the part that actually sticks out of the car. This is 32 inches long. Uh, the pipe connection at the end, this is six inches high, and this is a two inch steel tube. It's real heavy, really solidly built, uh, feels hefty, welds on it looks really good. It's a nice powder coat finished paint job. Uh, it is painted inside and out. And then it has uh, five holes on the end here so that when you slide it into the receiver, you can adjust how far out it sticks. And then on the end with the pipe here, it has uh, three different heights and they're each of the four cardinal directions. So all we have to do is slide this into the receiver on the car. So it uh, goes in very securely to the car, comes straight out, and then the pole of the umbrella goes into that post there, the pipe. Then next we just have to put the pole in. This has one of those little clickers. We have to push it in to get it down in and that'll click in the first hole. Of course you can push it in, go down further, or also rotate it to a different position. And then lastly, you just put the umbrella on the pole. Now, of course, I'm gonna close the hatch first so that's not in the way. Put this up here again, same thing. There's a little clicker in the bottom here. And then inside of the umbrella is a crank, which we crank up. So that's it. It's a umbrella for your car. Uh, obviously, I'm in the shade now. And on a sunny day, uh, this would certainly be nice to have, whether you're at a car show or whatever. But uh, a couple other things. The umbrella is nice and high up. So if I open the hatch of my car, it completely clears it. I don't have to worry about uh, the umbrella hitting the car or not being able to open the hatch, get in here, anything like that. Uh, the other thing is that it is nice and strong. I can literally jump up and down on this thing. Um, extremely sturdy right here. <laughs> probably the hitch part more so than anything else that's actually very very sturdy uh, the umbrella itself is really you know it's a typical patio umbrella nothing special there it's well enough built but it's not super heavy duty so obviously like if it's really windy outside uh, you wouldn't want to use it the other thing is uh, I'm sure everybody's gonna say the jokes about me driving around with this up no obviously this is intended for a parked car you're tailgating, you're camping, you're at a car show, something like that. Uh, yeah, don't drive around with this open. That's going to do nothing for your fuel economy. So I'm a nice six foot tall guy. And what I like is this umbrella is nice and high. I've got well over a foot from the top of my head to the edges here. Uh, here we are. Oh, it's so bright. And then I step back here. Oh, it's so nice and shady. This is great. And again, just a wider shot, just showing the tilt feature. We can tilt it towards the sun. Now, if you want to rotate it, um, you're going to have to do that down here at the bottom. Push the pin in and then spin it 90 degrees. 
I was actually in a car show this last Saturday, which was right after I got this. Um, the weather was sort of partly sunny, partly cloudy, a bit like now, um, except that it was actually pretty hot when you were in the sun. So when I had the umbrella up, uh, people would gather underneath it. Boy, it's actually pretty windy out here. Uh, that's one thing I have not tested yet is uh, how, how big of winds that this thing is good for. It feels pretty solid, but like any patio umbrella, if there's gonna be a storm or it's gonna be crazy windy, you know, of course, take it down. Uh, but at the car show, uh, people would gather under it because it was the one shady spot. We were otherwise really just right out in the open. Uh, the other thing that's kind of nice about it is because it attaches to the car, there's no other way that you need to, you know, you don't need to stake it down, you don't need to weight it down. And a lot of times with something like an easy up, especially in a place like a parking lot, you can't stake it. So now you gotta bring weights. Um, it's also harder to set up an easy up usually you can do it with one person, but it's not easy. It's a lot easier with two. With the umbrella, it's actually really easy for one person to be able to set up and take down. And again, a good element of design here is the length of this piece so that you can still use your tailgate. Uh, you don't have to worry about moving the umbrella just to be able to use your truck as a truck. Overall, I really like the tail umbrella. The only thing is it's such a simple idea. There's absolutely no reason not to do this yourself. Um, I was at the big box store and this was in the clearance aisle and for what the price was, I figured it was easier for me just to buy it uh, instead of having to buy a normally priced umbrella and build this part. Uh, but this section here is all you would need to build. Uh, this is just a two inch square steel tube, uh, about 33 inches long, a flat piece here and a piece of pipe here that's an uh, inch and a half diameter. Uh, drill a couple of holes through it. So very simple thing. Um, if any of you build one of these, please uh, post a video, post some photos. We'd love to see your home built version of these. Otherwise, uh, you can order these online and at the right time of year, you might be able to find one just on clearance as well. So I hope you like these videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, stay charged up.